Okay, how to wire a solar panel. This is the um, cheap one I bought off eBay for £106. That's in another video if you want to check that out. Um, what you want to do first, well, check all your parts first. So I got my last um, solar panel I wired up on this camper in that we're in now. <clears throat> they were just two blacks, so you had to be careful. These come with red and black. So pretty pretty obvious positive and negative, but you might just want to check, okay? So if we open up and see the size of this panel. Okay, it's a big panel. This is massive, it's what a meter and a bit. So I would, without a shadow of a doubt, double check that you've got the right connections, okay? So the cables correspond with your positive and negative. So this should be positive. So what you need to do is go to the box on the over there can zoom in I don't know if I'm gonna see that let's try it excuse me here we go zoom in a bit more focus there we go positive okay so that's your red let's zoom out see you back down again okay so yeah that's going to work beautifully. I'm not going to plug these in right just yet. I'm going to do that later because the last thing I want to do is either let you give me plug itself or blow something up. So I know that's good. So put that away. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to snip the two ends of these and see what we've got on what size they are. Because when it fits into the control box, which I'll show you in a minute, you'll understand why. So I'll just find the knife. You don't want much. What? Half, not even that, half an inch. Oh, yeah. It's coming. There you go. Now that's quite thick, and I'll show you what I mean. So, here's your control box, and you want to make sure. So, this is your solar panel connection, and this is your positive. So, lift the flap up, let's get a screwdriver. Sorry, I just knocked you about again. So, this is where you have to decide whether you're going to solder it, which I like to put. I'll show you another. This didn't come with a solar panel. I'll put a link in the description down below for this. This is your connection to your battery for your crocodile clips. So you can see them. They're not, well, they're pre crimped. So you want to make sure, and I think it'll just be right in the one side. If you can see that, that's the wrong one, of course. Negative. I was just demoing positive. So let's trim this one back. Now what you could do if you wanted to is split them. So if you just like which is not a bad idea, equally sort of twist them. Twist them. And what you can do is undo the negative. Oop. Not that much, maybe. I'm not sure they crimp the right way. Maybe the wrong way, or don't. I don't think it really matters. There we go. And what you can do then is either side. The choice is entirely up to you. And then you'd fasten that down nice and tight. Right, so on to the next one. Okay, so I'll put a slight kink in them. Just to try if it fits better. In it goes. Now, I don't know if you've noticed that, I just noticed that, a bit of fraying. Don't want that. 
So we'll take it back out and we don't want any frames, we don't want anything to touch. So tidy them up. Really tidy. Okay, no fraying. There you go. Beautiful fit. Okay, so we'll do the same with the other side again. I might have to snip that a little bit because it may be a bit too long. Oops. Okay, that's a bit of a negative done. Next, I'm going to put on the control. This is the other one that goes to the batteries. It's that simple. It's pretty straightforward, to be honest with you. It's quite simple to do. So, right. So, the next one is undo these clips, and then uh, we'll connect them. Okay. When it comes to connecting these, so you've got a red and a black, like I said before, and you've got a some. Um, they call that shrink wrap around it. Then you're thinking, when you get too long, too far, it's twisted. How do you know which is which? Well, if you look at the red, it has writing on it. If you can see that, there's some very, very slight writing. If you're not too sure, hold the red and just follow it down without a twist in the cable. Okay. Well, it's got the white writing on, but you've got to be spot on. So I know felt well that that is positive. And again, look at your panel, positive. This is for your battery. So you can't twist them, so I'm doing a bit, a bit more. same my big hands are in the way I'm gonna put the negative the opposite side just to make sure we're well away there we go There we go. And of course, when you connect your solar panel, do not let these touch. So you could uh, maybe just trim it back on itself. Okay, put that, make sure that's way out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the solar panel, take it outside, put it in the sun, and then I'll connect them up. And then we'll see, give it a bit of a test. Just to show you the solar panel. Mono, mono, solid, I think it's mono, what it's mono, there's mono and polo, so I've got mono. And there we go, eco-worthy. But that's in the other video, so if you look at that, you'll see where I got it from. Right, let's get this outside. So once you've checked it, you know you can't go wrong. And then they're only going to fit in each one because it's one female and male. So, right, let's get back inside. Okay. So it's all wired up, put outside in the sun. But before you can get a reading on your control box, you've got to connect it to a battery. Um, I don't know why, that's a bit, bit weird. I would have thought it would have worked. But it's charging your battery. So there we go. If you can see that. Let's just zoom in a bit. And there we go. I'm going to do a bit of reading, but it looks like it's doing its job. Output current off. 
Okay, let's try something. I've got some USB lights here. Let's plug it into the USB. See if that works. Hey, well, there you go. Now, whether it's being powered from the battery, no, it's still coming in 14 volts. So it'd be good to do a volt reading on the actual battery itself, but I think the 14 volts coming in is from the solar panel. Can you see that? So, okay. Ah, so that knocks it off. So, yeah, so it's definitely... The control unit is working, and I've got to... There we go. Cool. 14 points. This is a hot day today. It's a sunny day today, so that's pretty good. Off. On. That's all it does, is it? Looks like it. Fourteen point four. Yeah, I would say it's definitely charging the battery because there's no way that battery's um, voltage is fourteen point four. Okay, let's. So he's on. Do another test. I want to test these other ones as well. Oh, can you see that? By the way, you can see that. There you go. So that's from the USB ports. So we'll try both of them. That one. You have to switch it on. So both USB ports are working. All right, I'm going to wire something up onto this and we'll get back to you in a sec. I've got a light somewhere. Okay, I just connected this and not tried it yet, so I don't want them to touch. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Now, does that, that controls it as well. So off, on. Brilliant. So, and the USBs at the same time. Try that. There you go. Yeah, so a nice bit of kit, and that's works off sound as well. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. So I take that out. Take that out. So what you have to do then is you have to find somewhere to put this. Uh, you might not need this amount of cable, so you can shorten it, and then you could use these as well for batteries. Entirely up to you. I bought this separate. I'll put a link in the description down below for that. Um, also, the fixing brackets for the solar panels are these. Mine might be going on a tree house or something like that for the grandkids. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I will put a link in the description below for plastic ones, which then you can salt fix or call Mr. Bond to the roof of your vehicle. And I'll also put a link in the description down below as well for um, there's, there's a port that goes on your roof so you can drill a hole through your roof um so you drill it, drill it through your roof and then there's two compression couplings on either end and you'd feed these wires through down into the roof and then seal it and i'll put that in the link in the description down below as well uh and then of course you've got this one for your cigarette lighters uh whatever you want to do i mean i can try that if you want me to we might give it a go I'm going to be a bit cheaty here now, so it's saving me wiring up again, so I know it's positive and negative, don't forget. So positive on that one, make sure they don't touch. Negative, there you go. Off, on. So yeah, we've got 14 point naught volts coming in through the solar panel, charging the battery. Happy days. Take care. Hope this is helpful to somebody. Catch you and see you in the next video. Hopefully we'll be fitting it next. I'll just show you the setup complete. I forgot to do that. So there you go, battery. Positive, negative. It's got an inline fuse. Comes round, down, in the control panel. Two, positive, negative. And then positive and negative comes out. Goes down, around, along the floor. And that's going into the solar panel. That's a big solar panel. We look at about four foot by 18 inches okay so that comes round you see that in and you can mount it to anything like i said it doesn't matter what you mount it to and look you got 14 there we are look, we've got 14 point 13 they got 14 5 coming in then for a minute pretty good and there we go cheap 106 pound but i will like i said 
uh, links and more things you will probably need, i.e. crocodile clips maybe, unless you've got some cable left over. Um, you'll need a battery, I forgot to mention that. And probably the plastic mounts and the small adapter that lets you put the wires through the roof if you're mounting it on a motorhome or a van or something like that. Okay, thank you. Take care. Like to like would be great and subscribe would be even better. Bye.